This video, sponsored by, Skillshare.com. Hey everyone, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial. Today, we are going to create this. So let's get started. Open After Effects and create a new composition. Let's call it Halloween. I am using the 1920 by 1080 resolution. With the frame rate of 30. And duration is 10 seconds longer. Now the first step is to create a new shape layer. So go to the tools, and select the pen tool. I am using fill to a solid color. And using this pumpkin kind of color. Also, my stroke is set to none. Let's start with creating the eyes. I am not a good designer, so making a basic eye, of jack-o-lantern. Of course, you should go with your own creativity. Now for animating the eyes, I am going to add anchor point right here. So that we can move it, and it will give a sense of blinking. Cool. Let's try to animate it. I am going to start animating from the first frame. Let's rename this layer as the left eye. Now expand this layer, and then content, shape, and then path 1. Here you will find this path. Make sure you are in the first frame. And then add a keyframe on it. Now go to around a few frames forward, and then select the eye layer once again. Here I am going to animate the eye, with these two anchor points. Bring them closer to each other, and the blinking animation is done. Let's open the eye now. Select the first keyframe, and copy it. Then go to a few frames forward, and paste it right here. Check the animation, and this is how it looks now. Well, not bad. Let's try to make it a little bit better. Select all keyframes, and easy ease them. Now open graph editor, and in case your graph does not look like this, then right click in graph area, and choose edit speed graph. You can always zoom in, and zoom out by using the plus, and minus key on your keyboard. Select the move tool, and then change the curve to something like this. It will make the blinking faster, and the moment will look a little natural. Switch back to the main timeline, and this is how it looks now. Not bad. But the animation is a little slower. So let's select all keyframes, and bring them closer, while holding the ALT, or OPTION key on your keyboard. Check the animation, and it looks better now. Before moving to the next step, let's take a look, at Skillshare. Thanks to Skillshare, for sponsoring this video. Skillshare is an online learning community, with more than 20,000 classes in design, video editing, motion graphics, and more. Premium Membership is less than $10 a month. And it gives you unlimited access. Learn, collaborate, or even teach a class by your own. Whether you want to fuel your curiosity, creativity, or even career, Skillshare is the best option for you. Skillshare teamed up with Adobe to create exclusive online classes, showcasing the possibilities of Adobe Fresco. Adobe Fresco is a brand new drawing and painting app with the most advanced brushes in the world. With a modern experience that balances with powerful tools. It's free to download for iPad. It's a perfect app for artists, illustrators, animators, sketchers, and anyone who wants to discover, or rediscover the joy of drawing and painting. You can check this digital illustrative typography class on Skillshare. Using Adobe Fresco from start to finish, Visit the link from the description below, and get two months of premium for free. Let's move to the next step. Minimize this layer to get some room, then select it once again, and make a duplicate of it. I am calling it right eye. Now right click on it, go to transform, and then select flip horizontal. It will mirror the eye, and place it right here. So we just created two eyes in a few minutes. Good job. 
Let's make the eyes blinking two times. Press U to open keyframes, select these keyframes, and copy them. Now go to around 2 second position, and paste them over here. Do the same with the bottom layer as well. Copy the keyframes, and paste them on 2 seconds. Check the animation, and now it looks like this. Cool. Let's move to the next step. Grab the pen tool once again, and then create a nose of it. I am just creating a triangle. You can press and hold the shift key, to make a straight line. And this is how it looks now. You can always adjust the shape according to your requirement. Let's call it nose. And then grab the move tool, and place it right here. Not bad. Let's adjust the size of it. The nose looks a little offset to me. So grab the pen tool, and then adjust the sides by selecting the anchor points. Now we are going to draw a mouth on it. Unselect any selected layer, and then grab the pen tool. Let's use the ruler, to make a symmetrical mouth. So press Ctrl, plus R. Then grab the ruler, and place it right next to the eyes. Also, we need to choose a point, for creating the mouth. So grab one ruler from the top, and place it right here. Let's create the mouth now, click here to add first anchor point, and add the second anchor point here, then drag it out to make a curve. Now press the ALT, or option key, to bring the handle closer to the mouth. Now click once again to make a shape like this. Drag it out. And this is how it will look now. Not bad. We will use these handles, to animate the mouth. You can hide the ruler, by pressing the Ctrl R on your keyboard. Let's rename this layer as the mouth. Now we are going to add animation on it. So let's search here for the path, and it will show the path property of it. Now simply go to the point where you want to open up his mouth. And then add a keyframe on it. Go to a few frames forward, and then make the changes in the mouth shape. If you are not able to see the anchor points, then simply unselect the layer, and select it once again. Now grab the pen tool, and the anchor points will be visible. You can move it anyhow you want. I am keeping this pretty basic animation. Now select both keyframes, and easy ease them. Open graph editor, select the move tool, and change the curve to something like this. Switch back to the main timeline, and this is how it looks now. It's creepy. Let's make it scarier. Select the mouth layer, then go to the effects and the presets, and search for the wave wrap. Apply it onto the layer, and let's adjust a few settings. First, change the wave speed to zero, and change the wave type to the triangle. Now change the wave height value to 0. And then add a keyframe on it. Go to around 4 second position, and change the wave height value to 40. You can always play with the settings, to make a good combination. Check the animation, and this is how it looks now. Now open keyframes, select the wave height keyframes, and easy ease them. Open graph editor, and change the curve to something like this. Switch back to the main timeline, and then check the animation. It looks a bit slow to me. So let's grab all keyframes, and bring them closer, by holding the ALT key on your keyboard. Also, I am placing these keyframes right here. Check the animation, and now it looks better. Cool. Let's move to the next step. Select all layers, and pre-compose them. I am calling it pumpkin. And then hit OK. Now create a new null object, and rename it as the scale. Let's parent the pumpkin layer with scale. In case this parent section is not available. Then right click here, go to the columns, and choose parent. Now grab this pick whip, 
and drop it onto the scale. Cool. We are going to zoom in this face, while keeping the center point in his mouth. So go to the tools, and select the anchor point tool. Grab the anchor point, and place it right in center of his mouth. Let's animate it. Zoom out a little into the timeline. Then go to the position, where you want to add scale animation. Select the scale layer, and open scale. Here add a keyframe on it. Now go to the one second forward, and change the scale value to a higher number. So that it will show only this pumpkin color. Now select both keyframes, and easy ease them. Open graph editor, and change the curve to something like this. Switch back to the main timeline, and check the animation. It looks a little slow, so I am bringing the keyframes closer, to make it faster. Not bad this time. Let's apply some glow to this pumpkin layer. Select the pumpkin layer, then go to the effects and presets. Here search for the glow. Apply it onto the layer, and then change the glow threshold value to 40%. Now make a duplicate of the glow effect, and change the glow radius value to around 550, as well as, change the glow threshold value to 60%. Play with the glow settings, and keep the look as you want. Check the animation, and now we are done. Thank you for watching this tutorial, good luck, and sayonara.